pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Commission regular session May 15th, 2014 at 6 p.m. in room 108 of the courthouse. Sarah Waker, County Clerk present. Terry Matthews, President, present. Charles Vance, Commissioner, is not present. And Charles McCain, Commissioner, is present. The meeting's called to order by Mary Mapper. So I need a motion to approve the minutes of the regular session of the Lincoln County Commission meeting that was held on May 1st, 2014 at 6 p.m. I move. Second. Uh, all those in favor, please say aye. Aye. All opposed? The ayes have We are at our next section, which is public comment. Um, I have Joe Lichten uh, regarding the Emerald Gardens Apartments. Would you like to speak? Sure. Um, my, my name is Joe Layton. I represent uh, a company called West Virginia Community Builders. Um, and I am proposing well, I am requesting the Commission's support for a multifamily housing project that I have on the drawing board with, uh, uh, in West Hamlin. Um, if you know West Hamlin, which I'm sure you do, there's a Rite Aid, and behind the Rite Aid is a trailer park, or at least a sort of a trailer park. Um, the idea is to remove the trailer park and to put apartment buildings for family living. So they would be two and three bedroom units for approximately 40 families. Um, I saw your presentation that you sent. Um, and it's my understanding that um, with this support, you need, you would like us to sign a, um, a letter of basically of support for uh, this development that you're doing and um, we in order for us to do this I think that you all you need to have if we're going to support you in this endeavor then you need to have us to sign a letter saying that and you are going to meet and, and you have a deadline on May the 30th May the 30th yes May the 30th so um, what I'd like to do is, I'd like to request, we have canvassing at 2.30 on Monday. I would like to have a special meeting uh, just for this particular issue um, at 2.20 <laughs> on Monday. Okay? Mm -hmm. Maybe just to add one more thing, just to let you know that the uh, project has been supported and I have a letter to the effect by the Town Council of West Hamlet. <clears throat> and, uh, and not only is it supported by West Hamlet, it's also supported by the Lincoln EDA as well. I think that um, there's, I've, talked, I've spoken to several people uh, on the EDA and they are all in favor of this. And of course it's not going to cost us any money. And sure. um, so, but it's it will be something great for the community. Okay. Thank Plus you. Affordable housing, something affordable. I appreciate that. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Um, next we have Alfred Abshire with Branchland Maykiff PSD. Signed in on public comments. Would you like to speak? I may have signed the wrong one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Uh, Ryan Jefferson, Lincoln County Green Wastewater. Did you sign the wrong one? I. I, I'm oh, not no, sure. No, no, I'm sure it's the right one. I'm sure it's the right one. I just wanted to give you guys updates on things. Um, so, <laughs> uh, since we last met, uh, obviously we've installed two new systems, um, one peat module system and one Aranko system, and we had a really good turnout. I had a training, uh, so it was kind of like I wanted to uh, demonstrate what the new technologies looked like, as well as like a field site visit, you know, you'd be out there, mess around with the equipment, touch things, be on site for the installation. We had probably close to 20 people out there, representatives from the DEP as well as the DHHR were there, um, 
and got to kind of look at what we're doing, you know, got a better sense of what the project is, what, you know, kind of what we do on a regular basis and how, how it's affecting things. Um, so that was good. That, that happened last Tuesday and Wednesday. And Wednesday, we didn't have anybody show up Wednesday. I hosted it both days, but most people just showed up Tuesday. Uh, we provided lunch for people, uh, which um, and most people enjoy. Uh, and so that was great. That was great. Uh, we actually had one more system we're hoping to install this week, but rains kind of put a damper on it for us. I mean, I, after a certain amount of rain, I kind of feel a little hesitant to do it. So I'm waiting a little bit some warmer weather. I'm hoping next week we'll be able to get another system in the ground. So that's where right. we're at with that. Thanks, Ron. That's all I got. Thank you. All right. Next is Rick McDowell with the green water, wastewater. First, or would you like to do Camp Lake? Do you I'd like to just follow up with Ryan. Since All right. We're talking about septic. We want to well stay on jump by the same or whatever you want to do. Same topic. <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> Daryl. I thought I saw that on the video. I know. That's okay. okay. No, it's my, it's my I agree. Give me speaking time you want to do. <laughs> Thank you. Don't let them. Peer okay. pressure is rough on your Um I just want to give you an update on finances uh, on our drawdown from uh, the DEP. As we spend money, we draw it down, and this is the um, this is the fourth request we've made. Uh, total budget that they have approved in advance is six hundred and fifty, almost six hundred fifty-eight thousand, and. Currently, we've drawn down 228, and we've got about 400 left. But as Ryan said, since we're into putting these systems in, we're going to be drawing down faster and faster and faster. Any questions about any of the expenditures, funds? You can see there's places where we are spending money faster than others, but that's the way budgets go. Uh, I wanted to give you a quick update on um, Camp Lakeview. We're moving toward free Wednesdays, as we've done in the past. Uh, we're going to start June 18th and go through August 13th. I'm not sure. Commissioner Cam, were you with the Cry River last night? Yeah, today? Yeah, yeah. So Cry River will again uh, run a bus through Hamlin, uh, up to the camp, picking up people, anybody who's along the way. We're working uh, this year with a, hopefully a variety of churches. Sent letters out asking if they would be willing to help us. So I'll let you know. We've got uh, lifeguards lined up, and I think we're okay with that. Hey, Rick, I was going to ask you, um, how many people rented that place out on Memorial Day weekend last year? You know? I mean, I know it's, I, know. I should, probably should have sent you an email I don't know. Um, beforehand, but what I was going to ask is, I know Memorial Day is coming up, and uh -huh. if there would be something that maybe we could do where we could to try to promote Camp Lakeview, sure. that area, maybe um, provide some type of free camping or something like that on Memorial Day weekend or whatever, we can have, I'm sure we can have um, the day report people. Come in and help clean up. Um, they can have them come and camp. Oh, well, <laughs> they, can that too. they can come in and camp, and then probably not. But, but uh, what I'm like is if 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 we could do that, I think that that would probably for this up. memorial. Yeah, for this memorial day. Uh, if, unless say, unless there's um, already I don't know if there's anything any, scheduled. If there's plan something scheduled. Somebody rented it out. Okay, or, let me check. I'll check right. and see. If you Thanks. Make that happen. I'm not sure how quickly we can make the wheels of uh, the logistics. I don't know. It's, it's a federal, federal uh, the county government. <laughs> you could say federal. <laughs> Get you off the hook. And I'm assuming that Hearts Creek Community Center, we're still on hold. The uh, person who had the lowest bid called the other day and is interested in trying to get started. Uh, Doc asked me the other day if. Uh, that Mr. Fleming had contacted me, and Haas partly also asked me, asked me that. Um, Haas said he would get a hold of him and make sure he got a hold of me, and Doc said the same thing, but I still haven't heard from him, so we'll just, they're working on it. I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll, um, yes. we, can, yeah. we can, like, put it on the uh, agenda for the next meeting. All right. I mean, I mean, what, do you, what do you, 
What do we need to do? What kind of action do we need to take? Somebody needs to buy the property. <laughs> but I think that we already decided to buy the property. I think we already took action on it. But they didn't have a deed There's no transfer. Uh, it's not officially. We've got a description that the community center has basically written up and given to Jim Gayhart, which he said was okay, but we still needed a deed from the first guy. But I mean, we can do best to have one sign. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. We know where the deed. We know the deed number and all that kind of stuff from when we researched it, but. I, I, I don't know. I think he probably wants his money, and you guys want the deed. Once we have the deed, I think my understanding was the commission then would approve the recommendation of the bid committee to award the bid, but they weren't going to do it. Not expedite if they chose it. He's, Mr. Matthew said maybe the next agenda they put it on and have that put in there. Okay. Everybody wants the deed signed. You have authority to go ahead. And yeah. Okay. We can do that. All right. I'll, I will. Uh, I ask to be on the agenda for next meeting, please. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. And be on the bus thing, only thing yes. we voted basically to provide, but for no if nobody shows. Yeah, it's really not running. It may take us. It usually takes the first time. We don't have as many, but it's, it's like, it'll it'll grow. It's like the ice cream truck. You know, <laughs> it's right. through, and then, you know, the, the ice cream truck. Yeah. Yeah. So that works. Okay. All right. We'll get a little bell on the bottom. Yeah. Maybe some, some music. Get some music. It brings them in. All right. That was all creepy. That was all creepy. Yeah. Take you to the lake. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's see here. Only you. Discussion of uh, concerns, possible action, firefighters uh, reg regarding the lead. Um, and I know that I think there was going to be some other folks here. That was my understanding. And uh, they may not have made it off work yet. Jim, would you like to speak on their behalf? There's a crew of one here. Uh, um, uh, commissioners, what uh, the Firemen Association voted last uh, meeting to do was to request the commission to. Uh, do whatever has to be done to put the levy renewal on the ballot for November. Uh, it's a little early, but in order to hitch the regular cycle of elections and keep costs down, uh, the current levy expires June 30, 2016, and you can't renew in the primary in the year that it, that a levy has to renew because there's not enough time, I don't know all the technical terms, to get it within, get in into the budget. So in order not to lose, <laughs> you know, any length, we would have to at least try to run in November and I'm sure there's things that has to be done and, but uh, that's what we're asking for and we're ready to do whatever the commission needs us to do to, to work along with it. But, Try to get the wheels moving. And do you all are, have you already looked at the language of the last levy? Or we looked do? at it, and uh, we were uh, uh, we're still kicking that around in the meeting. We were wanting to see about some changes uh, in the language from the last call uh, that uh, were addressed the surplus funds. <coughs> we were uh, of course. Naturally, we would like to have those surplus funds distributed to the fire department. Uh, so, you know, uh, but uh, we wanted to get that at least under consideration by the commission uh, to look at changing that levy call. That's what we would like. Okay. And, and it's my understanding, I may be wrong, that if there's any any language that is going to be changed in the levy, then of course that'll be that'll come to the county commission. Am I correct? Absolutely, the county commission uh, approves that language of that. And call. then and then we would have to run that in the paper. Right. Certainly. Yes. yes. And um, Daryl, after that, as far as being you know putting it on the ballot for the November election, what would we, when do we need to have that done? I'll have to look at it. Okay. I'll have to look at it to be sure. That's fine. Uh, there, there is, like you said, certain things we'll have to do. A advertising will be one, and as far as cost, uh, it's, it's going to be minimal running it this way. I mean, it, it'll just be whatever it increases our page size for the I vote. So we just need to make sure that we get the dates to make sure that we're in compliance and we'll make sure we run everything. And uh, like said, we're willing to meet with the commission. Uh, if you want to meet uh, to look at language in the call when it gets to that point in time. We're, 
more than happy to do that. Well, I'll tell you what, if you all could go ahead and start looking at that, mm -hmm. and then whenever you all uh, kind of come to an agreement, sure. just bring it to us. Where one thing will be like a 90 day prior to the election. Yeah. Yeah, there, I, we knew there was plenty of time, but we wanted to get get the wheels and get it started. Is there normally a special meeting? I'm sorry. Is there normally a special meeting when you guys can run the levy to, to look over the levy? Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not real sure on that. But I, I think they do. They're, they've done a special commission meeting, maybe a hearing. I think maybe a, like a public hearing. Mm -hmm. but, yeah. I thought it might be a good way if we would look up yeah. what had transpired in the past. Maybe uh, a good way to figure out what we need. Oh, well, certainly. I, I, but just right off the top of my head, I, I really can't recall what we did. But, yeah, a few years ago, but thank you. Any other questions? No, okay. Thank you, Jim. That being said, 